beautiful. I'm actually on my way home from church right now. And as I'm driving, my mind is just thinking about different things. And one of those things that came across my mind, and this, this came across my mind for a reason because there were some things that just happened. But I realized that, and this is not a new revelation. This is something that I've thought about before, I've known about, but it just hit me just now again because of recent things. But there are some people that they say that they desire help. They say that they want people to support them. They need somebody to encourage them. They need prayer. They need all of these different things. They need people. They need community. And they want these things. But oftentimes, these are the same people that when you reach out to them, when you extend your hand to them, when you call to support them, when you say, hey, whatever it is that you need, I got you. And you genuinely mean it. And you follow up with them to say, hey, hadn't heard from you. I know you said you needed help from me. I know you needed my support. I know you wanted me to pray for you. I know you wanted to build community. And you reach out to them and you extend what they say that they needed. A lot of times, those are the same people who really don't want to receive help. Like, it sounds good when you're saying it. It sounds good in the moment to say, I need help. I want help. I want community. I want support. I want healthy relationships. It sounds good when they're saying it. But when it's time for them to receive that and it requires any type of action on their part, like, you got to show up. You got to actually meet people and say, okay, you know what? I said I needed this support, so I'm going to come and you're meeting me where I am. A lot of people don't show up. Yet they continue to go on social media. They continue to go into different spaces and they proclaim that they desire help. They proclaim that they desire support. They proclaim that they have a need for different things. But when those needs have the potential to be met, they're nowhere to be found. They're ghosting the people that are right there that says they will support them and that's showing up. And I'm one of those people. If you say you need help, you need support, and if I tell you that I got you, I'm going to help you, I follow up with you. I reach out to you. I extend my hand to you. But there are a lot of people who do not do their part in terms of following through. They don't do their part in terms of saying, you know what, let me actually come to the table, even as broken as I am, with as much as I have on my heart and on my mind or wherever I am. Sometimes they don't want to bring that. And it's for various reasons that that happened. But I want to make sure that people understand when you are asking and there are people in your life who desire to help you, there are people who God brings across your path to bless you, to support you, to help meet the needs that you have in your life. You got to show up too. You got to be willing to receive the help that God sends. You got to be willing to say, you know what? I'm going to do what God has asked me to do. I'm going to meet these people. I'm going to talk to these people. I'm going to do these things because when you sit in a space and constantly say, I need, I need, help me, help me, help me. And people are showing up for you and people are coming to you and they're right there. They're ready to support you. You have to do your part. I know sometimes fear creeps in. I know sometimes imposter syndrome creeps in. I know sometimes we feel like we are so broken, so hurt, and going through so many different things. I know sometimes you feel like you may be judged and somebody may think differently of you because of your situation, because of what you may share with them. But you got to know that there are also people who do not stand in judgment of you. There are also some people out there who not looking to get anything from you in return. They're looking just to help you. They're looking just to bless you. They're looking just to support you. They're looking to do what God has instructed them to do. They're looking to be used as vessels to bless other people. So don't miss your blessings 
because you are so caught up in, I don't want to be perceived a certain way. I don't want to be judged. I'm afraid. I have imposter syndrome. I'm not all the way together. I'm still broken. I still have all these different things that are going on in my life. I don't know how I can even share a lot of the things that I have going on in my life with somebody else because they may think differently of me or they may judge me or whatever the case may be, whatever the hang up is. You got to let that stuff go. If you really and truly need help and you're asking God to send you help, don't dismiss what he sends you. Don't dismiss what he sends you because that happens too much with a lot of people. I've had three different people that I need help. I need help. And I'm like, okay, cool. I got you. I even share some information with them. We scheduled times to meet. And with these same three people, every time that we were scheduled to meet, every time it was time for them to actually do something, they were nowhere to be found. They resurface again and say, well, you know what? You know, I had such and such happen or this happened. And I understand. I give grace. I definitely do. I give grace because stuff does happen. Life be life in at times. But when it's consistent that every time it gets to the point where it's time for you to move, it's time for you to do, it's time for you to act, it's time for you to actually start implementing some changes in your life, some action needs to happen on your part. If every time that that is the case, when you're right there at the brink of when it's time for you to do something, you step back, you go ghost. You disappear. That person doesn't hear from you. They don't see you until all of a sudden again, you're back into what I, you know, I had this time. You're making excuses. You're making excuses. So you have to make it to the point in your life where you say, I'm making up my mind that I want to change. I want to see transformation. I want to receive support. I want to receive help. I want to be blessed. I want to have exactly what I need. I want all these things that I'm praying and I'm asking God for. I really and truly desire these things. You have to get to the place in your life where you're willing to do the work. You're willing to show up for yourself. You're willing to say, you know what? Let me allow myself to be blessed. Let me allow myself to have the people in my life that are going to support me, that are going to help me, that are going to encourage and empower me, but they're also going to challenge me. And that's the thing I think also that scares people is sometimes people are afraid that what is being asked of them is too much. What is being asked of them, they're not capable of doing. What is being asked of them is going to require them to sacrifice or to give up too many things. And so they don't desire to have that. They don't desire to be in that space where it's going to require them to give up some things or some people. That it's going to require them to actually spend time working on themselves, spend time doing the things that needs to be done in order for them to have the change or the transformation that they say they desire to have. So I need, if you are anybody, if you are anybody, if you are a person that you are in that space where you are the one asking for support, asking for help, and God is sending you that support. God is planning people in your life. Don't be like the, I forgot what the, how the story goes all the way, but God sent me a boat. And when God sent the boat and sent things three different ways, then the person's still like, well, I thought you were going to help me. I thought you were going to help me. Send me, send me, send me. You looking for the yacht and God didn't say he was coming like that. God didn't say he was going to pull up that way in your life. You got to be ready for however God is going to send that help. However God is going to open the door. However God is going to change your life. You have to be ready. You cannot sit back and say, well, I only think that it's going to happen this way. I'm only expecting for God to do it this way. I'm only expecting for things to happen if it fits in within this box or if it's confined to what I say it should be. It don't work like that. Sometimes God will send you people that you never expected him to send. Sometimes he will use people that don't even like you to bless you, to help you, to elevate you. And so you cannot focus on where you are and how miserable you are, how much fear you have, how much doubt there's there, how broken you are. You can't focus on that, nor can you focus on what it only has to happen this way. If it, if it can't be done this way, 
that this, I'm not going to receive it. I'm going to act like I don't know that God is already doing things in my life. You can't do that. You can't do that. Nor can you sit back and ignore the people who are coming into your life and who are answering the call. You're saying, I need help. Come help me. Come support me. I need this. I really just need encouragement, especially when you're putting these things out there into the atmosphere. You're putting these things on social media and you have people like myself that are coming and say, what you need? I can help you. I support you. What is it? How can I help you in this way? And then you don't show up to the table. You don't show up to the table. And it's far too many people who are doing those types of things and you're missing out on transformation. You're missing out on your blessings. You're missing out on truly seeing change in your life and really getting to the place that you desire to be and where God desires you to be. But so if you really want that, you can't be afraid. You can't be afraid. You got to let that fear go. You got to let all the things go that are holding you back from getting to the next level in your life. You got to hold it back. You got to keep doing it. God is the person that a lot of times we get caught up and we feel like, okay, God, it should be done this way. It should be this person supporting or helping, whatever it may be. But you have to understand that God works in mysterious ways and he can use anybody. He can even use you even in your brokenness to bless somebody else and in return still empower and encourage and bless yourself and your situation as well. But some of y'all got to get over yourself. Some of y'all got to get over the things that you are allowing to to weigh on you and to press on you and to keep you confined to where you are. Y'all got to let that go. You got to let go of those somebody judging me, somebody thinking this about me, somebody thinking that about me. Y'all got to let go a lot of that stuff. And when you get the help that God is sending to you, receive it, receive it. You know, I mean, this is just was on my heart and my mind because again, there's some things that have happened recently and there's some spaces where I've even shown up and I've sat there for an hour waiting for the person to show up for their meeting where they said they needed help. I didn't go to them. They came to me and they never showed up. And then they circle back several times and it's the same thing because eventually the helpers are going to get to the place where they're going to say, you know what, I'm going to need you to move first before I go and I sit in this place and I wait for you for an hour before I show up, I'm going to need you to show up for yourself. I'm going to need you to take the first step. I'm going to need you to do some action to make some movement on your part before I will actually show up again for you. And you don't want people to get like that. But it's not fair to other people when you do stuff like that and you're constantly saying, I need, I need, I need, and they're trying, they're working with you, they're giving you grace, and yet you continue to do the same things. So again, if this is you, if you are the person that, again, is allowing fear, doubt, judgment, the fear of judgment, if you're allowing imposter syndrome, if you're allowing anything in your life to prevent you from getting the support and the help that you need stop because if you really want change because there are some people that say they want it and they really and truly don't want it they're comfortable with misery they're comfortable with misery they're comfortable being miserable i'm not talking to those people i'm talking to people that you really really want it but you're allowing certain things to get into your head to prevent you from taking the next step. You're going to have to get out of your head, let all of that stuff go, and move forward. When that hand is outstretched and it's extending to you, even God's hand, when he's still knocking and asking and and wanting to come in, you got to come too. You got to get up. You got to work. You got to move. You got to do something to help yourself. Even with having faith and even with walking with God, God requires action of us as well. So you can't sit back and expect everything to just be done for you. You can't sit back and expect everybody just to get up and to do all the things that need to be done in your life for you. You have to also work. You have to also have action behind your words. You can't just provide lip service for yourself in your life. You have to also have action behind your words. That's all I'm going to say on it. That's all I'm going to say on it. If this is you, 
I hope this convicts you that it, it penetrates your heart and your mind so you know that it's time for you to get up. It's time for you to get started. It's time for you to move. It's time for you to make good on the promises that you have made to yourself that you want change and you desire to have it and you're going to do something about it. It's time for you to act. All right, y'all. This is your girl, Dr. J. Peace and love. And make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Share this with somebody that you know needs this, that who you've been trying to help as well, but they still not moving. Share it. All right, y'all. I love you with the love of Christ. Bye.